Welcome back. Well, the topic of abortion is at the heart of a very political polarization campaign, isn't it? It's an issue where opinions are just unyielding and compromise just seems inconceivable, right? As it stands now, women have the constitutional right to choose whether or not to terminate their pregnancy. Yet there are people who are standing up and speaking out for the unborn children who cannot speak for themselves, like my next guest. She's the author of The Choice, The Abortion Divide in America, which breaks through Still categories and that all but familiar rhetoric from both sides. And it encourages people to forget what they think they know about each other's side of the argument and actually listen to one another. Welcome to the show, Danielle D'Souza. Danielle, welcome to Real America. How are you? Hi, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. I'm so glad that Dad, by the way, do you call him Dad, Daddy, Pops? What, what, what do we call Dad? Dad. 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 Just Dad. Yes. I'm so glad that after we had Dad on, I think a week or so ago, that he said, you know, my daughter's got this great new book and she's getting out there and she's uh, getting into the entertainment industry as well. And so have her on and discuss this book. And I say, let's, let's have this discussion because it is obviously something that comes up every four years and now more than ever with another SCOTUS pick, it is front and center about abortion. So tell us about this book and showing both sides. Yeah, well, I moved to New York when I graduated from college and I saw Governor Cuomo light up the Freedom Tower pink to celebrate nine month abortions without a medical reason. And that's really when I realized that the abortion issue went actually so much deeper in our country than I had ever thought. And I think we even see now with Joe Biden and Kamala Harris running on a platform of really wanting to have federal funding for abortions, forcing everyone to have to pay for abortion. And of course, with this Supreme Court nomination, I think that this is really coming to the forefront of our discussions today. But um, yeah, I think that so many people really rarely actually dive into the abortion issue and into the abortion debate just because um, both sides are just so separated from each other. Yeah, it's such a polarizing issue. You can't even really have a civil discussion with anybody if they're on the opposite side. Um, nobody cares where I lie, and I also am very independent on this matter because I try to say that I will not let my Christian beliefs, uh, which is pro-life, interfere with the way man and man's law runs the government. Roe v. Wade is not in jeopardy. Everybody keeps talking about if the new SCOTUS gets in, Roe v. Wade's going to go away. That's the fear-mongering from the left. Hold on to your abortion rights, ladies, because if Trump gets his pick, Roe v. Wade goes away. That's never even been mentioned. But when you research this book and you got both sides, which side did you feel, as you were interviewing people and doing your research, actually is open to discussion and change with the current situation of abortion in this country as far as going right up until the ninth month, which I think is absolute ludicrously unless there is a health concern, like you said. Right, absolutely. And I think what's really sad is the fact that a lot of people on the left um, will maybe use sort of a fake argument like, well, you know, what about the moment of conception? And I think that, you know, when we look at the abortion debate in the country, that's not where the country is. We're actually, we have to meet them where they are, which is at the nine month point. And so um, I think that we have to look at the facts of what happens when you abort a baby at nine months. Um, there are body parts to get rid of. There's a whole uh, procedure that has to take place and it's really not a simple and safe procedure, which is the messaging they push. And I think what's even worse is the messaging that abortion empowers women. Um, I think a lot of pro-lifers want to discuss this with them. They want to discuss the issues, but a lot of the um, pro-abortion advocates on the left uh, know that if they actually dive into what abortion is and people kind of think about more what it is, that it actually doesn't really fare well for them, especially when it comes to late-term abortion, like you mentioned. Yeah, late-term. Danielle, what's the the uh, youngest that a baby that was delivered early, is it 21 and a half weeks about, is where a child has actually made it outside of the womb? Yeah, exactly. And I think people forget that babies are born early all the time. Twins are born early, triplets even earlier. And um, babies can spend almost the entire third trimester outside of the womb. Right. And so, so if you, well, I'm sorry to interrupt, if you have an abortion then at month seven, eight, nine, it's legal. But if someone kills a pregnant woman that's seven, eight, nine months or any months pregnant, right, then don't they get charged in most states with double homicide? I don't understand yeah. how we can do that, but then it's okay to abort a living child who is seven, eight, nine months old. Exactly, and it was a double homicide in New York, but they actually just recently changed the law because I think they saw kind of the uh, inconsistency there in their argument about it being a cluster of cells. Um, but I think too that if you look at the fact that 
Um, that's kind of what the Democrats are pushing for. It's legal in seven states to have abortion at the nine month point. And I think they'd like it to be all 50 states. So um, that's where the abortion debate is right now. You know, whenever um, pro-lifers want to really discuss the specifics on it, they don't want to. Mm. Danielle D'Souza, I commend you for standing up and speaking up, especially in the city you live in uh, and the industry that you and dad are in. Very commendable to take a stance um, for pro-life. The book, The Choice, The Abortion Divide in America. Where can we find it? Real quick, they're giving me the hard wrap, but I want to get it out there. Amazon, Barnes & Noble, all the main spots. All right, all the main spots. We'll look for it. Danielle, thank you so much for joining Real America. We really appreciate it. Have a great day. Thank you. All right, coming up in two minutes, it's time to get real. Don't go away.